We've investigated mysteries from all over the world. But we've never faced a puzzle like this. It was case number 367. And it was codenamed The Warehouse Guys. Good morning, Mike. How are you, bud? Good. What's this thing? Yeah, we've been noticing them the last couple of weeks, but uh, it's, it's irreversible. Huh. Deal with that later. Okay, let's do the video. Hi, folks. Peter here from Warehouse Guys. We went. So, what do you think? I think it went well. There you go. I'm kind of happy with it, so we'll see. Okay, I'm out of here. Let's go. Sure, I'm Chris Metron. I'm one of the owners here at Warehouse Guys. Well, ultimately, when we started, I mean, we, we knew that, you know, it was a great idea, a great name for a store to have a, a business that was it had begun in a warehouse. I don't know, we've, we've checked everything twice. Uh, some way, somehow, this guy's coming in the chimney. I don't know. Hi, I'm Chris Sykes. I am uh, work in design and sales here at the Warehouse Guys. Well, I mean, we, we put something on sale one night, we come in the next morning and, and there's another sticker on a, on a wall unit or a kitchen and it's been reduced and nobody seems to know what's going on. Uh, the concept of Warehouse Guys was the fact that we're, uh, we're just working hard, trying to, you know, do well for the public and somehow this, this, this logo and this person has taken on an identity, it's, it's become real. <laughs>